Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Tambaya. I'm the chairman of the Singapore Democratic Party. I'm also a professor of medicine and senior consultant infectious disease physician. But I'm doing this in my own capacity as chairman of the Singapore Democratic Party. Welcome to Ask Paul Anything. I have I have a series of questions that have been posted by you, and I'd like to deal with them today. First of all, uh, from an IG user, HMK Fragrance, the question is, can you use MediSafe to offset hospital bills fully on any ward in the future? Uh, the answer is, unfortunately, no. Right now, MediSafe is, the pil is one of the pillars of the uh, current healthcare system, and there are significant limitations on what you can do with MediSafe. MediSafe is your own money. It can only be used for yourself, for your immediate family. There is no risk pooling, and there is a cap on a daily basis as to how much of your MediSafe can be used. It may not be your choice, but you may need an expensive treatment. But unfortunately, MediSafe will not cover the whole of that. It will only cover up to a particular cap. Now, there's a fundamental difference between MediSafe and the SDP's proposal for a national health insurance scheme. The SDP's proposal believes in risk pooling. We believe that people don't choose to get sick. You know, and you can't tell whether you're going to get sick or whether you're going to stay healthy. So we believe in an insurance scheme which is backed by the government so that you bear the burden of your fellow citizens and your fellow citizens will help you out when you need uh, help. It's not like MediSave where you depend on yourself and your immediate family only. Now, I know that we've got MediShield and we've got MediFund, but those are catastrophic policies which are designed for very large hospital bills, and they do not cover the vast majority of subsidized hospital bills today. So, in summary, unfortunately right now, MediSafe cannot cover fully a, a significant number of hospital bills, and you may have to pay out of pocket, or you may have to depend on catastrophic insurance such as MediShield Life. Stay tuned for the future when the SDP's National Health Care Plan becomes a reality. Now, we have a couple of other questions um, from Facebook. Uh, let me get to them. So, the first question is from uh, Kosun. And uh, Kosun asked this question. The question is for the bill for hospitalization being too messy. MediShield payout is so low, and even with subsidy, the total amount foot by the patient in cash on MediSafe is often over 80% of the bill. The MediShield uh, with private insurance should be in percentage point and not after subsidy. Um, for example, if the MediShield payout should be 20% for a $2,000 bill, it would be $200. I believe, oh, sorry, for a $1,000 bill, it should be $200. I believe Paul can see most billing in med is MediSafe or cash comes out from the patient. It's much higher than MediShield cover. I don't know, but what I got is a lab test that costs over $900. So again, he's expressing the views of many Singaporeans. I'm sure you've heard the story of the elderly gentleman who went for a complicated eye procedure at the National Eye Centre, and MediShield Life only paid $4.50 for the cost of his post-subsidy hospitalisation bill. Now, that is the intrinsic problem with high deductibles and co-payments, and those are features of MediShield Life. The reason why they are features of MediShield Life is that MediShield Life is designed for so-called sustainability, in other words, they want to keep the insurance policy sustainable or viable or economically um, sort of alive. And the focus is on the economics rather than on the role of providing health care for people who need help, people who have medical conditions, people who, who need surgery or who need treatment, which may sometimes be expensive. And that should actually be the purpose of a national health insurance policy. When you need help, you need insurance. That's the whole point. What's the point of having a lifeboat which has got holes in it? And that essentially is what MediShield Life is all about and why it needs to be fixed. Now, we've come to the end of this uh, segment of Ask Paul Anything, but uh, we want you to keep your questions coming in to Facebook, Instagram, and various other social media platforms so we can discuss them the next time. So, see you next time. Thank you.